I introduced previously the idea of the tag hierarchy, which shows what the parents and the children are. I've also talked about cardinality, which is the minimums and maximum number of elements. Let's start to use some of those concepts to dive further into how you can specify more explicitly what the parentage hierarchy is in a schema, and also how you can mix those choices of parentage with the ideas of cardinality to create more sophisticated models. We're going to end with this concept of a mixed element, where we can mix uh, text nodes and child elements together in the hierarchy. So let me go over to a simple schema here. Uh, no, actually, let me start over here in Articles XSD, and we'll talk first about sequences. Each of these little icons here, which I've ignored up to now, are sequence icons. They say um, the fact that the about information type and access structures are indented under prototype, as well as the attributes, show that they're children. But what is the ordering of those children? Which, which ones have to come first and which ones um, must come second, etc., are all designated by this icon, the sequence icon. And when you see that sequence icon, it means that the one on top has to come first, followed by the next one, followed by the next one. These children have to come in this sequence. And so when you see the sequence icon, you know that the ordering of the children is set. Now let's combine this idea of sequencing with the idea of, um, of optionality. So let's suppose I make the about tag. Oh, and actually, before I do that, let me show you why that this that this is really true that this sequence matters. I'm going to go over to articles XML, and now we are going to close it all up. So we have about info type and access structures. I'll show you how if I take, for example, access structures out of here, and I put it in here. So now all I've done is I've changed the order. So same tags, but now they're in a different order. Now Oxygen tells me that there's an error here. And it's going to give me that same sort of cryptic view that says, well, I expected to see about there. One of about is expected. And in fact, I saw access structure. We know, because we made this error, that the problem here is that they're out of order. All the tags are correct, but they're in the wrong order. So I'm going to get rid of, take, get rid of that and put it back down here where it belongs at the end. And now it's going to be valid again. And we can see validity here because we have a little green box up here which says there's no problems and we have no wavy lines there. If we had wavy lines and little red and, and brown boxes along this, this margin here, we'd know that there are problems. If I ever want to be absolutely sure, I can click the validation button here. And down here at the bottom of the screen, I have a little message, document is valid. You'll get used to doing that the more you, the more you work with it. Okay, so now let's combine sequences with optionality. Suppose I make the about element optional. What does that mean? First of all, we know because now it has this thin line here that you don't have to have an about option, uh, an about element. However, because it's guided by this sequence, we know that if there is an about element, it has to go here. It has to go in this very location. So if I come back over here, oh, I'm going to save this. Um, if you don't save a schema, it won't you you won't reapply any of the changes to your instance. So every time you go to recheck your instance, you need to save the schema first. Now I can delete the about tag, and if I delete the about tag, will it will the file still be valid? Yes, it will, because the about tag is optional. However, if I put the about tag in the wrong place, now the file will be unvalid. You can see I have this little this little problem this little problem indicator in the margin. It'll tell me what the thing is. If I click on it, it'll take me to where the problem is. And of course, we know what the problem is because we created it. That about tag is in the wrong place. Okay, so now we've combined this idea of sequences with the ideas of optionality to say we want to establish the sequence, but some things in that sequence are allowed to not be there. Here's another instance of it where it says, here's the sequence. If you have a sources tag, which you don't have to, it better be the last one in the sequence. If it's anywhere else in the sequence, then that will be considered to be unvalid. Sequences really are the stock and trade. They're the most common way that, um, that children and parents are connected. And unless otherwise indicated,